guys welcome back into the channel i am camille allison and on this channel and in this space we discuss all things faith planning and lifestyle so if those are things that you're interested in things that you like then please consider subscribing okay you guys this video is i feel like has been highly anticipated at least on my part it has um it's been something that I know I needed to show you guys, but I just have not had the time, but here we are anyway. I'm gonna give you guys an updated flip of my half letter planner. So we set this up initially in June, and so I've been in it exactly a month. I love it. There's nothing else I can say. I love being in a discount system. I love everything about my system, and um, I'm just really excited that this is working for me so far. But I did change up quite a bit of things which you guys kind of saw in the last video but a lot of things have changed in here so i just wanted to give you an update on all the changes in the last month so first big change is if you didn't already know i did switch out of that cloth and paper cover and i moved into this half letter cover by moterm y'all i love this cover cover i cannot get enough of her like she's beautiful to me just looking at this thing just makes me want to use it um more so i just really really do appreciate this cover and all that it has to offer the aesthetic and everything so let's go ahead and open her up really nothing has changed like right off the bat my little paper clip left me nothing has changed right off the bat except you might notice obviously these pockets are a little different so these i showed you guys in my little um haul my planner supply haul but these are my washi card um samples that i got from erica crafts off of etsy this here is um the ollie clip from the cloth and paper sub box from may i believe i cannot remember that color but it came with this one and then a matte one which is in my other cover right now this is um just a journaling card a plain journaling card from paper standards this here i actually made i have a ton of these pink little credit card size cards and so i just put some stickers on here and um, popped it in but it says to trust god in the light is nothing but to trust him in the dark that is faith and that's a spurgeon quote and then this right here just says grow in his grace every day just a nice little reminder um, and it adds a really good pop of color to the planner this i am grateful for gratitude card actually came from at home with Kita. Oh, not well. That's her. Um, that's her. That's her main YouTube channel. But it came from Fancy Plants Co. That's her shop. And um, this was a freebie in my order. Where did I have that? Right here. Did I have that right here? Crap. I cannot remember where I just had this. It had to have been. Um, and then these are the cloth and paper little freebies that you get with your orders. Um the standard planner aesthetic stuff you know this is from erica crafts as well my little c charm from her shop broke off and i do have the tool to fix it i just have not fixed it yet but there was a c charm here from her um shop and these little pockets on the side y'all i have been trying and trying to remember this shop's name and i cannot remember but this is just like a little pocket vellum it says faith over fear it got messed up i don't know but um i just i'm still using it I'm not gonna throw it away and then this was like a little dashboard i made it was sitting at the back of the planner but i moved it into the pocket if you remember just because i wanted the pen loop to be up here because i already have one on the side over there and that pen loop holder came from fancy plans co as well and then in this side pocket i'm just keeping some stickers these are the same stickers you guys have already seen in my planner supply haul you got the stickers from erica crafts and piper paper co and my cloth and paper Ibiza dots and um, transparent sticky notes. This was a freebie. The transparent sticky notes came from Amazon, but I'm just keeping them here. Update, I know I told you guys on that Piper Paper Coat order that it just took forever for it to come in. And I saw she did send an email saying that she was gonna downsize her um, inventory to help with processing. So it must be something that she's aware of. Um, yeah, so that's really great. She's um, She said she's going to just stick with her best sellers and kind of just keep that in the shop. And so that's really great because she does have some cute stuff. Not everything, you know, worked out for me, but she definitely does have some cute things. And then in the back pocket, I've only got um, the In Touch Devotional for July. I just get these in the mail every month. And I actually have not cracked this open yet because I've been doing the Awaken Devotional. But this is um, through the In Touch Ministries. 
you get it for free in the mail if you just sign up for it and i just keep that back there so my paper clip i don't know what happened to my little paper clip that came from fancy plants Co. that was holding this here but it's not there this didn't change so i know i kept saying i was gonna change the front cover i never did i just kind of stuck with it and it's been working for me i'm loving the neutral aesthetic so my name vellum that you guys have seen a million times camille allison made on canva this i made on canva as well in love and in grace that's just kind of what i want to embody and keep in mind and um live out in this life and so i'm just putting that there as a reminder isaiah 7 9 this is my anger verse from 22 this is my little inbox dashboard it um i'm just using it to kind of like you know keep track of certain things my butterfly vellum that i made on canva and printed um and then we're moving into this section so this is no longer my monthly tab this is different i now have labels on my tab which you know what that means that means i'm all in now but um <laughs> I decided to, instead of doing monthly, weekly, daily, I now just have a calendar section. And in the calendar section has my monthly and it has my weeklies in it. So this um, first little thing here is a little poly cover. I have a million of these. I just cut it down to size and I'm using it to hold sticky notes and things like that. This is my, um, what is this? It's, I can't remember what this is. This is like a paint splash dashboard from cloth and paper i'm not sure but it's on their website my important dates this hasn't changed this is a freebie from the planner spot i believe yeah um and then of course my famous well the famous um year to glance on a really nice thick vellum by cloth and paper and then we move into the monthlies so y'all all these little divider covers like this i made all these on canva just personalized to like what i wanted to see what i wanted to do I know I talked about changing from the cloth and paper monthlies, but I decided to actually stay with it this month um, inside of my main calendar section. So it's okay. I like it enough that it, I think it works pretty well. So um, on my monthly, I just have dotted out the orange dots here are all my work days. And then these gray dots are birthdays. I haven't written in the birthdays yet because I wanted to actually get like a nice cute little birthday sticker to put there. But my fiance's birthday is the 17th, my mom on the 23rd, and my grandma on the 27th. And then I used my little fawn drops from cloth and paper here to just highlight um, events and things, appointments, things that we had going on. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys about the dots. So here I am trying to figure out all the things right so i wanted to share with you guys because i literally you guys have been looking for what i i've been looking for these things up and down spending my money you know trying to find the perfect ones and it's these transparent dots yeah in all the shades and all the colors and i do have a cricut in here which i've used for other things but never to make stickers and so here i go i went on youtube university y'all went and found out how to do this bad boy and i am so freaking proud of myself you guys so i made stickers <laughs> and no these are not available if you want them to be available i might i might list it but it's not available i just was kind of like playing around just to see you know how i would do with it and i think i did amazing i am so freaking excited about these bad boys so i made um i think i made like 10 different colors but i think i only have five or six with me right now but i have a few colors here smoke dots which is like a warm gray these ice dots which actually turn out to be too light so i'm thinking that's not gonna work um matcha macchiato pink salt peach soda and those are the peachy orange ones there and then um i have them in small and big that's that's as far as the sizes go but small and big same color set and so these are how the gray look, the bigger ones. And then these are the smaller ones in the peach. And I just absolutely, I am so proud of myself when I made them, y'all. I put um, Pretty Paper Station, which is my little journaling shop. I put the our logo up there and I don't know. I just feel so freaking official now. And so 
this little pouch came as a part of um one of my cloth and paper orders it's like a little freebie and so i just been keeping them in there and i throw them in my bag with my planner and keep it moving and i just wanted to show that to you guys i was so proud of myself um for <laughs> figuring that out um and then these two stickers came out of one of my little happy planner sticker books i can't remember which one it's one of the faith-based ones but um yeah i thought i'd do like a little bit of a light deco moving on into the weekly section you guys know i switched my weekly from the weekly admin and cloth and paper into this um weekly sheet from harrow plans and i've been loving it i don't have a current weekly in here but this was from last week y'all i love it and i love how the deco looks like i've just been playing around these are the smoke dots yet again but i've just been playing around to see like what i would like as far as decor and I'm liking it. This grid washi, I saw. So I have the sampler here from Erica Crafts. You can buy full rows off of her set as well. But you can also buy them on Amazon. And I'll leave those listed below. Because I'm probably going to end up just buying a full roll. Because this is going to be my little thing. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. So that is that. Um, and then also, I decided in this section to include my assignments. My school assignments are all now in here so i can just keep up with it i do have a separate school notebook that i use and i have the assignments listed out on the syllabus but i wanted to keep this here because i don't always carry that school notebook with me and then into my dailies nothing has changed here yeah okay so these are the dailies that i created that work best for me um it is a day on two pages this is a journaling side and this is like your to do it, it focuses on your to-do list, but it also focuses on your mental wellness and it incorporates your faith. And those are all things that are important to me. I don't run my day well when I don't have my faith in check and when I don't have my mental health in check. So this is just like a really great way for me to, you know, stay on board with those things. So nothing's changed there. My finance section, I cannot really show you guys. Oh yeah, and by the way, you guys, all these little frosted dividers came from cloth and paper um i can't really show you guys too much in here i did make this dashboard financial freedom and generational wealth these are the goals okay um that is the motto but um the budget sheets that are in here i basically created myself with the exception of like my monthly calendar which i got off a of shop on etsy i can't remember her name right now um these income trackers and debt trackers came from hero plans and i haven't filled them out yet and when i do my paycheck breakdown so i literally just use um, a grid paper i do a monthly budget and then i break down each paycheck that i get to make sure i'm staying on track so then we move on to the project section this is new this is a new section to the planner um i've got that task delegation sheet in here from cloth and paper and then i'm this really should be project and goals because i also keep my july goals in here um i'll tag a video up there that you can click on where we went through my goals together um yeah so i'm just keeping that in here what else is in here and then i've also got these project timeline sheets from hero plans as well these are like the gantt charts this one is um like for your more long-term projects because it breaks it down by month but i also have the ones that are broken down by hmm, by um you know, for more short-term projects. I'll show you that in a minute because I have one in the back of my, one of my business sections. Another new section is my trackers section. So this is um, basically, I decided I don't want to do the daily tracking anymore and I'll just keep a tracker here and I'll be tracking things like, you know, my daily habits. I'll also be tracking like my reading because I'm, I love to read. I don't know if y'all know that, but I am into reading like 100%. So, um... I'll check that. I'm not really watching too much TV, but just anything that's kind of important to me, those sort of lists, um, I'll make sure it goes into this section. This reoccurring tasks insert is from, I think, Peanuts Planner Co., I'm pretty sure. Um, this needs to come out. This is no longer the home. Yeah, I took the home section out of here. And I'll talk about that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I think I'll probably end up having like my own little home binder um and keep that stuff in there i don't know y'all don't listen to me because i really don't know <laughs> okay then into the wellness section i've got the morning mindset and evening mindset little half dashboard these are just like journaling prompts or things to kind of get your mind flowing and thinking 
um so i just keep this here and if this is printed on some really nice feeling cardstock i don't know if it's even cardstock but it's it feels great i, I just love the fact that uh, it feels very nice um this is my anchor verse for this year 2022 matthew 11 28 through 30 come to me all you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls but my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I just feel like in this day and age, everybody is just running so hard. Everybody is so focused on getting to the goals, so focused to getting to the finish line. We have so much on our plate. And I think some of it is just unnecessarily because our culture has created us to feel like we have to be doing these things. And we get overwhelmed and we get anxious and we get depressed. And things, you know, really impact us more than they should. And so this scripture I love because it reminds me that I don't have to bear this burden. Like I can pass it off to the Lord and he's going to comfort me and he's going to direct me. And so that's why this is my anchor verse because it's a reminder that rest is just as important as getting to all the goals. So that's my little word for y'all today. Okay, get your rest. Take it easy. Seek God, you know, really rest in him. This right here is um, just some scrapbook paper I cut down to size. And okay, so part of the wellness section, I now have meals and fitness. These little tabs came from Amazon and I just used my Dymo, labeled it out. I was trialing this out and I haven't stuck to it, but I am going to use this just to track my meals. Not necessarily meal planning, but so that I can know what I'm eating on a day-to-day -day basis. This can come out. Why is this here? So I'm supposed, okay, I'm going to leave this here because I, I need to write that down. I'm supposed to be getting a, um, something to track workouts. And I think I'm going to use the insert from Peanuts Planner Co., but I just haven't gotten it yet. So this is just marking that that's where this is supposed to go, but not this cleaning list. This is going to go out into that, um, with the home section stuff. In the, I also have a mental section in my wellness section. And this is where I'm doing these little weekly journaling recaps where, um, I showed you guys this a million times, and I'm so sorry, I don't know. Let me see if I can find this shop's name. It's not, it didn't print well enough for me to see what the shop is called. If I can find it, I will link this in the description below. I will try my hardest to find this for y'all. Um, because I really did, I used this for a while, like a couple years ago, and I really did love it. So, I'm happy to be going back to it. So let's just see a few of those in here. Do I have anything else? Oh, yeah. And these Peanut Planner Co. journaling sheets I always used to use as well. I love these sheets. So that's what's in my mental section. Um, and then we move right on into the business tab. So this is these are tabs from Amazon that I labeled with the Dymo again. Um, and I just put it on this little poly cover that I cut down to size. The plan, the work, and work the plan vellum, I printed this it was a freebie from the planner spot and then um the coffee dashboard here jesus i think it's from planning with jazz i could be wrong but i think it's planning with jazz so this is different this is the monthly from hero plans i decided to use this in the rehearsal section to keep track of all the things that are going on with the podcast so the newsletter the, um, the episode release dates anything that's happening with the show as far as the show is concerned will go here i will have to wipe this out and use um put a different header in here because obviously birthdays and events won't matter to this section but that is why this is here moving right on in literally nothing has changed with this section her soul has been on a hiatus but it is coming back after i come back from this vacation um the show will be back in full swing but i just have like my um content ideas and my calendar in there then the social media tab for her soul i chose to switch my um weekly admin sheets into this section and use it this way and i'm going to track on the habit side when i'm posting to the different sort of social media sites and how often i am engaging with my audience okay and then 
oh yeah this is just to separate out the content and post planner i am getting a new social media planner from uh, doa inspiring designs i don't have it just yet but that will be coming into the planner and that'll be new i'm going to take these ones out because i just feel like it was so cluttered and i haven't really been using it um okay so this is what i wanted to show you guys this is the um short-term project timeline sheet from um Hero plans but this is one of our businesses um, mainly that my fiance runs and I just kind of like keep up with the books and do like some of the back office stuff. I don't want to show you too much of that. And then pretty paper station is my journaling and stationery. I know I keep telling y'all this every time I show y'all this section. I need to get my inventory sheets. I need inserts to track my inventory. If any of you know of a good inventory insert, let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably just use like some blank note paper and track it for now or make my own. But that's what's going to go in here is just to keep track of inventory. And then this back section here is for faith. And I don't necessarily have anything in, in here except for like some random study notes that I had. I'm not sure exactly how to use it because I have a faith. I already have a faith journal. And I also have a like a prayer journal. I have all those things. So I don't know what I'll actually keep on this section. If this doesn't stay my faith section, I'll most likely change this to the YouTube section because obviously um, I'm on YouTube now and it's kind of taken off. Speaking of YouTube, y'all, we have made it to 100 subscribers. And I know for many of you that might not seem like much, but I am so very thankful that um, you guys have liked this content. Literally, we've only been on here for a month and to have 100 of you interested in what's going on on this channel really, really makes me happy. So thank you. I really do appreciate it, y'all. Um, so I just had some note paper here and then this is available I printed uh, from Canva, the butterflies. Y'all, the butterflies are like a theme always in all my things because of my great grandma. She loved butterflies and I absolutely love her and miss her. This is a freebie from Plan With B. Plan With B has so many freebies on her website. So if you're, if you've never heard of her, if you're new to disc bound or ring planning, please check out Plan With B. A million things that could get you started and going um, from her website. Uh, and it just says thrive, flourish, prosper, grow. You are meant to thrive, not just survive. And isn't that the truth? You know, it's so easy to get complacent in this life. Um, and then these are two little journaling cards that came from cloth and papers, freebies. I'm just sticking them back here for aesthetic purposes. And then um, the small aspirations came from Fancy Plants Co. And this was a freebie in my Erica Crafts order. It was her little handwritten thank you note, which I really did appreciate. And I don't have anything really in these back pockets because I don't really see this back too much. So it's no need to really fill it up with anything. And then I've got to talk about this pen. I've already talked about it, but I love this pen. If you do not have this pen, you should really try it. It is so velvety smooth when it writes. Um, this pen, dang it. I'm going to have to go on Cloth and Paper's website. It came from Plot, cloth, cloth and Paper. I don't see a name that I can read on the barrel, but it is a 0 0.5 nib. And it is like a felt tip. And it's a 0 0.5 nib, and it is like a felt tip um, kind of tip. And it writes so nicely on these inserts. I love this pen, y'all. I love this pen. I, I really do. It just, the ink is so smooth. But that is it, you guys, for... But that is it, you guys, for this flip through. And um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you guys are uh, inspired to get into your planners and like really make it work for you. I've just honestly, I don't know what, what I was expecting prior to this. I was in an Erin Condren and I switched to half letter on a whim because I just felt like it. And I feel like, why not? There's nothing wrong with it. And it's been working. I think that's the main important thing is that the system has been working for me and I can appreciate um, how well it's been working out. So that is it for this video, you guys. I am going on vacation, so I'm not sure if a video will be up after this one. I will try so hard to get one out. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the video and also hit the like button if you liked any portion of this video, y'all. I appreciate you all so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.